think I was led to start I don't know just from a long-term interest uh, having been sponsored my whole life since I was a little kid I had this question of what are we wearing where is it coming from and who are the people making it what's the process it goes through you know something I felt a certain sense of responsibility and accountability in. Uh, so I'm the CEO uh, I joined about 18 months ago so we just celebrated our third birthday yesterday. Yeah. Uh, third birthday of selling goods, so I've been there about half its life. The mission statement is really for people and planet. So that's what we've recently coined, and anytime that you see the Outer, name, Outer Known logo, it will say for people and planet under it. I think that's, uh, that's our mission statement. I would say the way that it's evolved is that if you think about the hierarchy of surf, clothing, sustainability, um, we've kind of shuffled those. I think the idea in the beginning was that we were a surf brand and you know, it was founded by Kelly Slater, so we're a surf brand. And then we're a surf brand that makes sustainable clothing. And then in the end, we're a clothing company. And I think what we've really focused on is um, we're always gonna have this center nucleus, which is surf, because of who Kelly is and what we stand for. Uh, what we're finding is there's a lot of people that want sustainably made clothing that believe in the people and planet mission that aren't necessarily surfers or that want more than just board shorts and graphic tees. So, you know, the real reason that Outer Known was created was to change the way apparel is made and to know where it's made and who's making it. You know, the environmental side or planet is different. Um, you know, no matter what you do for some people, they're gonna be like, that's amazing. And for other people, they're gonna say it's not enough. What we've committed to is that whenever we have a choice to make, we take the high road and make the better decision. We're trying to make less stuff that's more versatile, that lasts longer, and is better quality, so people need less of it. So we put a lot of time and energy into the Apex short. So that was kind of our first foray of saying, we want to go after a performance item. So it's not only sustainable, but it's not just sustainable. Like The idea with the Apex is we wanted to make an industry-leading performance item. So it's the greatest board short, by the greatest surfer. Kelly was involved in the design and the, um, the prototyping here at the Surf Ranch, um, as well as, I mean, he's involved in all of our styles, but he was intimately involved in the, the design and the make of the Apex. He and I started out and on about five and a half years ago. Uh, there was a few other people involved. And even though we say we just celebrated our third birthday, uh, we actually spent two and a half years trying to figure out sustainability. Obviously on very different sides of the business. Um, me behind the scenes, you know, he had always worn apparel. Um, you know, it kind of helped propel him throughout his career and everywhere he went. But, you know, he started thinking one day about the fact that um, at 45 years old, he thinks about everything he puts in his body, but he didn't really know what was going into the clothing on his body. So, you know, he and I started talking a lot about that. and. Uh, when things kind of seemed like they weren't really going to be fully realized there, we just started saying like, what if we try to do this on our own? You know, for Kelly, who's still competing at the highest level, it was important to build a short that could match his talents. And, um, you know, this, what I love about the Apex is it's seamless. Like everything is welded. There's not one stitch on the entire trunk. The idea that you can make a high performance board chart that still has some good looks and doesn't have to be big, baggy, and 22 inches feels pretty good.